<laughs> we've got Game Night, Red Sparrow, Tomb Raider and Annihilation. It was uh, a couple so, of weeks, so we need to cram a lot into that. Yes, we did miss three we've weeks. Even left so, out as well. And you guys have missed us a lot, so we have a big, big roster <laughs> of films. And without any further ado, yeah, shall we get it. started with Game Night? All of us have watched it. It's I haven't a, watched it. You haven't watched it. Watched well, it. You can take the lead here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can yeah take okay, lead. I'll take the lead. So, yeah. Well, I don't know what it's about, so you guys can well, take the lead. I mean, all I know is it's got, what, Rachel McAdams and Jason Bateman in it. Yeah. Yes, and that's all you need to know. Yeah, there's like a game night, but stuff goes wrong. Yes, you want exactly. To yeah. the yeah. Well, uh, Rachel McAdams and Jason Bateman meet, meet themselves at a game night. Yeah. Fall in love because they're so competitive with each other. Okay. And Every now and then they host a game night at their house where they definitely want to win. Yeah, so they'll marry, settle down and every week with the mates, they come down and have a weekly yep. game at least. And yeah. this time they invite, well, they get invited <laughs> to their brother's house. Because the brother is a bit showy and wants mm. to show that I can also participate. He's like a Wolf of Wall Street kind of guy. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah. And the, the, the game they start playing is sort of like a real life game where yeah, someone gets kidnapped. 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 <laughs> kidnapped. kidnapped. <laughs> you are tired. <laughs> <laughs> they got kidnapped and then in the past tense kidnapped. So kidnapped it. Okay. Yeah, you don't know past, English well enough. Tent. Yeah, I'm, exactly. Yeah, I'm terrible so basically English the brother comes over and organizes a murder mystery. So that's the murder mystery night basically. Yeah. So, so you have to participate in a yeah. real life murder mystery game. So okay. someone gets fake kidnapped, you have to find where they are based on clues. And then it unfolds. It, it gets sinister, basically. Yeah, it's yeah, a bit yeah. too real. It, gets it did a bit look too a little real. bit sinister. Yeah. So, so yeah. what were your good points about it? Uh, so, I mean, I'll start. The, the movie was really funny. I, okay. I thought it was genuinely I, funny. I really, I mean, I really I like came up of my expectations, to be Without honest. doubt, Jason Bateman is one of the funniest guys on movie in That's present funny, day. Yeah. yeah, I don't know how he got so funny. He was like <laughs> a nobody, like, a few days back. And then suddenly he... Where did he... I can't remember where it was I first saw him. I'm like, this I guy knows how to do arrested humor. Development, that That's where it was. Yeah, yeah. that arrested and development. And I love that TV show. Yeah, he's so. just so funny. He's, he's so like, uh, so sort of like deadpan, and I think that's what comes why he comes off so yeah. funny anyway. And he just pulls it off so well. Exactly. Anyway, Rachel McAdams also does a good job. She she plays a bit more. Um, very naive, funny kind of person. Yeah, she's okay in, in comedy. Yeah, they, they work well. The leading two, they have a chemistry. They, they, they both very have well. enthusiasm, which works Very well. good looking people and... They, <laughs> <laughs> well, Hollywood. You have to in a film, you have to. Yeah, so. I've missed Rachel, Rachel McAdams. She doesn't do as many as she, she did before, so it was good seeing her. Anyway, uh, enough fangirling there. <laughs> Fanboying. <laughs> Fanboying <laughs> well, over Rachel McAdams. Tell I didn't me, want to be sexist. So, so tell me your favorite movie is Mean Girls. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Abby, what are your good points about it? You know, I think it's such a, I went in there with not very much expectation for you know what, if I watch, if I like it, I like it, if not, whatever. But I came out really happy. I really enjoyed it. It was great. Yeah. I think all the jokes are hilarious. I think all the cast, so you got three couples all together. You got the main couple, then you got two other supporting couples essentially. And all of the characters have like their own time to shine. So they all have their own moment to do their whatever their shtick is. Yeah. So they all get to, you know, have a bit of the spotlight, which is great. Yeah. Um a lot of wit in it. There's jokes like Cyberdyne references. Like, I'm like, oh my days, that's oh, like, I've not heard Cyberdyne in such a long time. Exactly. Like, there's a joke about glass tables. There's a long running joke about a certain celebrity who um, just, just gets better and better as the plot develops. It just gets funnier. Um, one other thing is um, Jesse Clements, who plays Gary, who's like the creepy neighbor. He's absolutely amazing. Every yeah. time he showed up, he killed it, I think. Yeah. He looks like a budget Matt Damon, I'm sorry, but that's why. <laughs> very, he, very much. He very, looks very like, much. Like, this guy looks like Matt Damon, but isn't. But, but, isn't, yeah. Yeah. but he's, he's in Breaking Bad as well. I think he's one of them. Um, no way, was he? What was his name? Yeah, because we called him Meth Damon. That was a joke online. Uh, he was like another meth, meth dealer, and people called him Meth Damon online. <laughs> but he plays like something like awkwardly recently divorced kind of guy, and he's hilarious. And every time he shows up, everyone's cracking up. Yeah. yeah. Um, really? And surprisingly, the cinematography is great. Like, they use this effect where they zoom in from the top and they come close and it looks like it's a, um, a game piece is, but it's actually um, what it means is you know yeah. when you zoom in from the top and yeah. everything is blurred it's it's everything cool. looks like a game like from it's called cool tilt shift oh, photography yeah, yeah, actually yeah. Yeah. I've actually googled it I'm like wow I got because it looks like it's, it's like CGI and they yeah. get close and it's because everything looks like, small so you, f you feel like you're watching a game and that's the pun because yeah, yeah. you're watching it from, it looks like a board game from yeah, from a board game okay, perspective okay. and they're going into the game like interesting yeah but it was a cool thing yeah i thought that must be like they just cg but no it's real it's actually real like, real like photo yeah. skill that they have camera work like, oh, okay yes surprisingly good but for if, I, if i'm saying going to the bad things now yeah so I, I think those were pretty strong good points especially yeah. if you're into comedy this is a film yeah. to watch it sounds like a bit of a like comedy thriller crossover very much a comedy yeah. thriller 
The one thing I didn't like about the film, which goes kind of hand in hand with what Abu was saying, was that they focus a bit too much on the past and the storylines of each of the characters. Okay. So even when they're in a uh, like a really tense situation, they have to talk it out to like resolve their family problems, <laughs> something of that sort. If you see what I'm saying, you remember Star Trek? There was a scene like that where they were like going into which Star Trek? Star Trek. Oh, it's the one where Uri starts arguing with about yeah, the yeah. problem. That was exactly, horrible. exactly yeah. that kind of thing. They they're like going to war and they're in the uh, plane. They're being shot at by other people and they want to and argue about argument, yeah. yeah, couples argument. Exactly, oh, couples okay, argument. Oh, okay, yeah, no, I couldn't. Yeah, it's a typical Hollywood. Oh, you need to have character development, so force it in there, even if it doesn't <laughs> fit the purpose. That kind of a thing. So that's what I thought didn't work. I also think they had way too many plot twists. They tried to be a bit too smart. There was like oh, a yeah, plot yeah, twist yeah. after plot twist. I'm like one big plot twist. Let's not enough. spoil. Yeah. But there's several like yeah. like um, fake cats. A basically. bit too much of sp plot twist. Like, whereas in the Hangover movie, it's pretty similar to Hangover has like a one spin at the end, which reveals right. everything. Here it's like a bit too many. Like, it's like three or four. Yeah. I think you're being too smart for a comedy film. Just don't yeah. try me that smart. Just do like, comedy well. Exactly. That's yeah. enough. Yeah. There were some. I love the you know the face camera shots they did. Yeah, I mean the, Jason Bateman. The cinematography is amazing. Yeah, <laughs> I really really enjoyed it. So in the, at the start of the film and the end of the film, they do like face shots of the characters. Like and it's just yeah. it's just so. It sounds very simple, right? It sets the scene and it's just a cool cinematography, basically. One of them, really good. Bit, they revealed too much in the trailer. Luckily, I didn't watch the trailer. I just watched. Yeah, it. I haven't really seen. The but trailer. I watched the trailer after. I'm like, oh, all the punchlines are in it. Yeah. Like every line, even like they don't even do half the joke. They do the entire joke. I'm thinking that's right. a really yeah. common thing, though. That yeah. like with all films at the moment. Like that's a, this is I why I don't watch they reveal, like all the Marvel trailers mm. as well because they just reveal way too much. Too so they reveal mm. all the like. But for a comedy though, you want to keep the punchlines. Yeah. They reveal every single good line. I think that's just. I always have the trailers yeah. to sell yeah. the film. But there's so many films that I go to see at the moment and you're just like, mm. all of the funny bits are in the trailer. Yeah. I was, and I'm tired of it. Luckily, I didn't see the trailer. If I saw the trailer beforehand, I would have spot half the film for me because I would be expecting those scenes. Mm. But yeah. that's just a small bite. Um, I think that's just a trend. But if, I'm to, if I'm to say, um, if, you can, if you can give your verdict, is it a watch? Do you watch? Definitely. Don't watch? It's a winner, man. Game night. Scene. Watch that's in the cool. theatre? I would say so. I think you're so punny. I got a... I <laughs> it's why I get paid for here. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> But no, I, I love the movie and I would definitely recommend people to check it out if you love a comedy film yeah. and love all the memes and stuff that go around nowadays, yeah, yeah. You, you love it, man. Yeah, like yeah. it's chat. very, very yeah. recent in terms of its humour. Yeah. Yeah. Like very contemporary pop culture references. Very current, essentially. I like, yeah. I like that. Yeah, in yeah, yeah exactly. Movies. I would also say it's a good film to watch. Yeah. Um, maybe watch it until... Uh, wait until it comes out in Blu-ray or, or like Netflix. Well, watch it. <laughs> Watch it, but only now. I yeah, I, I don't think it's so worth it that you need to go to oh, the yeah. cinema to spend your money. If Unless you're really rich, if you're a millionaire, go, go for it anyway. Six pounds. I've got an unlimited pass, but definitely. Oh, if you have unlimited pass, definitely it's worth yeah. a watch. Good, good, good comedy thriller. Yeah. Good comedy thriller. Okay. All right, on to our next 